So what's better than being the best? Ask Dakota Taylor. She isn't just the best in Omaha, the best in Nebraska, or the best in the Midwest. Dakota is the best in the country. She was named 2014 National Big Sister of the Year. That is a huge honor. She's here with her little sister, Peggy, yes. who was behind the nomination. Good morning That's to right. both of you. Nice to have you back. This Thank is you huge. Peggy. Oh, this is awesome. Yes. Where's the award? Um, we you were forgot supposed to bring it. it today. We were supposed to bring it. Uh, that's <laughs> my fault. Right. What does like, it look like? Can you describe it for us? Yes. So it's a glass little thing, and it's got two pillars on the side. Um, I put it in my office on display, and it says National Big Sister of the Year, Dakota oh. Taylor. Mm. How did you feel when you heard the news, both of you, that you were selected? Did you even know she'd nominated you, or how did that all work? Yeah. So she had nominated me for the Omaha. Um, award and then what happens is we had to send in an essay myself Peggy's mother Diane our match support specialist Katie and then also myself mm -hmm. and so it was a pretty lengthy process and they said we'd hear back at the end of April and April kind of came and went and then I forgot about it and all of a sudden I get a phone call from Nicole Turgeon uh -huh. the mm -hmm. CEO and she's like hey we've got some big news guests and I was like no way. She's like, totally. Uh -huh. So then, of yeah. course, I had to call Peggy and her mom, uh -huh. and we were all ecstatic. Uh, Peggy, did she tell you what to write in this essay, or did you come <laughs> up with this on your own? I came up with it on my own. Why what did was, you want well, to nominate yeah, What was it about her? What, what did you say in the essay? Um, I just explained what I've been through and how she's stuck by my side and how I've never really had that before. And that was the biggest thing is, you know, somebody was there to support me and give me hope through everything. Mm -hmm. So, and she did so much and that may not seem like a lot to others, but to me that was a lot. Mm -hmm. And for you, Dakota, well, you, you told us about Peggy the first time mm -hmm. you were on the show and your relationship. Why is it so special, you, what the two of you have? Sure. Well, we're both, <laughs> <laughs> we're both only children. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wanted a sister. She's always wanted a sister. So mm -hmm. when the program matched us, it was just kind of love at first sight. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a um, rocky road at times, but I think that it's made us stronger and it's totally completed our bond. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of fun together. We love to go shopping, out to eat, uh, bake cookies, mm -hmm. and just kind of hang out, even if it's to go for a walk yeah. or how do something. How long have the two of you been together? Yeah, tell us your story. How, how Six old were you? Years. Six years. Well, how old are wow. you now? Sixteen. You're wow. sixteen. So you, you've been together since you were ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So what does the future of your relationship look like as it continues to evolve here? What do you think it'll be like as you continue to grow and become an adult? <laughs> I know you'll stay in touch with her. Yeah. What do you expect? Um, I'm actually doing nursing classes oh. right now. So and I graduate in December mm -hmm. from high school. So I'm just doing that right now. Yeah. And you've got to be so proud of her. Absolutely. So proud of her. Yeah. Why did they pick you out of every, I mean, there are thousands of big sisters in the country. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they said you're the best one? You know, that's a great question because there's probably a million great bigs out there. Mm -hmm. But um, it was an honor not only to represent Omaha, but to represent our state of Nebraska with different organizations. Um, but I think a lot of it was our... Uh, rocky road and just being there for her through mm -hmm. thick and thin and knowing that regardless of if things get a little dicey to yeah. never give up you and walking away yeah mm -hmm. and you know when she was um, in DCYC and everything else in Boys Town her parents asked if I wanted to you know get a new little and I said no I said you know I've never walked away now and I'm certainly not going to at this point mm -hmm. she's expecting so we're gonna you know I'm gonna be Aunt Dakota so we'll always be you know, a sister bond. And it's mm -hmm. not, when we go someplace, it's not, this is my little sister, Peggy, with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Mm -hmm. This is my little sister. My little yeah. Sister, yeah. So. Yeah. When you talk about the organization that's been around in Omaha 60-some years or 50-some years, whatever mm -hmm. it's been, this is the, the relationship, mm -hmm. the, the standard that they're looking for. When mm -hmm. they created this organization, they wanted this big sister uh, relationship that you have here. What would you say to people who are considering becoming a big, whether it's a big brother yeah. or a big sister? And they don't know if they're good enough. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people fear that. Sure. I would say just always give it. Try, give it 100%. There's Big Brothers Big Sisters does a number of activities that are free, mm -hmm. so it's not like you have to go out and spend money and those types of things, but there's enough need in our community to give back mm -hmm. to our littles out there. And right now, I think they have some 78 young men waiting for Big Brothers. And there's the need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get more guys enrolled. Right. Uh, we're looking right now at the Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Midlands website, and you can learn more there. And throughout the year, they have some great 
informational sessions. So even if it's just not sending an email or making a call today, keep your eyes peeled for some of those sessions where you can go mm -hmm. and sit and visit with bigs about their experience. But it's really about making a difference in the lives of young people like Peggy, who, when she showed up on the set today, asked if we were married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I said, no, we're going through a divorce. <laughs> Mike said, he goes, the show's going to be really awkward for a couple of months. I was like, no, we're not married. You're hilarious, Peggy. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Congratulations on the honor. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Dakota. Yeah. Good to see you.